Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The mercury level remained high throughout Meghalaya, notably in the Garo Hills. The Indian Meteorological Department, IMD in Shillong, stated on Thursday that hot and humid weather will persist for the next three days in various regions of the state. According to IMD's special advisory, the temperature will continue to rise for the next three days, primarily in the Garo Hills region and Riboy. On Friday, the temperature will continue to increase across the Garo Hills. The UV index is expected to reach 12, indicating, quote-unquote, very unhealthy conditions. At night, the temperature will drop to roughly 27 degrees Celsius, with no rain expected for the following three days. On Thursday morning, more than 340 anti-aircraft life ammunition and four ammunition boxes were discovered from a jungle in the South Garo Hills. Chokpot police seized their recovered items on the spot after receiving information from a reliable source that some ammunition boxes were being hidden by suspected militants somewhere in the jungle of Chibogre village under Chokpot police station, South Garo Hills district. A 30-year-old man from Meghalaya was apprehended by vigilant locals in the Dumbra market area of Dudnoi town today after he attempted to use counterfeit Indian currency notes to purchase beetle nuts. The accused, Goblin Momin, a resident of East Garo Hills district in Meghalaya, was found carrying fake 500 rupee notes with a staggering face value of rupees 1 like 41,000. Alert vendors at the market noticed the suspicious notes and immediately alerted the local police. Upon being detained by the public, Momin was swiftly handed over to the Damra police station. During the initial investigation, police recovered the large stash of counterfeit 500 rupee notes from Momin's possession. Shillong Traffic Police, STP, continued the efforts to combat reckless overtaking and irresponsible driving at Rilbong Junction on Thursday by conducting two-wheeler checks. The police top priority during these checks is to verify vehicle documentation, inspect modified silencers and check driving licenses with a particular emphasis on curbing reckless driving. In a major setback for the remote Dibang Valley district of Arunachal Pradesh, a portion of the vital Roing Anini Highway, National Highway 313, has been washed away due to incessant rainfall, severing the only road connectivity between the district and the rest of the country. According to reports, the road damage is extensive on the stretch between Hunli and Anini, leaving the district isolated from the mainland. The Roing Anini Highway is a lifeline for Dibang Valley, facilitating the movement of people and goods to and fro from the region. With this crisis, the local administration has issued advisories urging residents to exercise caution and refrain from travelling until repair works are completed and weather conditions stabilise. Authorities have warned of potential dangers such as landslides, floods and rising river levels during the ongoing monsoon season. Preparations for the second round of the Lok Sabha elections are underway with voting scheduled for tomorrow, April 26. Elections will be held for 88 Lok Sabha seats in 13 states and union territories, including the remaining part of the outer Manipur Lok Sabha constituency. Meanwhile, nominations for the fourth phase of the Lok Sabha elections end today. Nominations will be reviewed tomorrow and candidates who are cleared will be able to withdraw the candidacy by the 29th of this month. On May 13th, 96 Lok Sabha seats from nine states and one union territory will go to the polls. The Election Commission of India has taken action regarding alleged model code of conduct violations by senior BJP leader Narendra Modi and Congress leader Rahul Gandhi. ECI has written to BJP President J.P. Nadda and Congress President Malik Arjun Kharge, seeking a response by 11 a.m. on the 29th of this month. In the letters, ECI has directed that all star campaigners maintain high standards of political discourse and strictly adhere to the rules of the MCC. Thank you for listening to our podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at infohubnetwork.in. At Thank you. Kubleshibon Mitela.